Okay, the final thing I want to teach you about hand-drawn animations is squiggle art. So the first one we learned about just every frame is a new frame. You draw something brand new in every frame. In the second lesson we learned that some things that remain the same can be duplicated in all the frames so you don't have to redraw them. But in this last one it's called squiggle art and it's where you really do want to draw everything over again and so everything kind of squiggles. So you're not trying to perfectly line things up because you want it to actually have a little bit of a shimmy to it. So I'm going to tap on home, tap on new drawing, and go ahead and pick a color and a brush. I'm just going to do mine in blue or purple. Yeah, let's go with purple. There we go. And uh, size 20 is always a good brush there. Okay, so I want to just do my name, and my name is Brad. So let me go ahead and do that. Oops, I don't even know how to spell my own name. That's it for the undo button. Okay, so there's Brad, written out in purple. Now, I want to add a brand new frame to that. So I'm going to go new frame, and I'm going to try to trace over, but you're not trying to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and trace over that. And see, I'm close, but not exact there. And then do that for another couple of frames. So new frame again, again, start to trace over it. And then we want at least five of these things, so. And my last one will be five. New frame. And if I play this, you'll see how it squiggles. See, it's kind of just, it's just jittery. And then you can see a lot of animation. Once you start looking for it, you'll recognize this as a talent or as a technique used by some animators. They add, like to add a little bit of a squiggle to it. So that's called squiggle art or squiggle animation. So uh, coming up in the next one, we're going to talk about how to actually do our challenge using these three uh, new animation techniques that you've learned.